Hi everyone, in this video we discuss how to execute Java program using VS Code. Before starts today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in last video. What is IDE? What are the advantages of IDEs? Popular IDEs for Java? How to download VS Code? How to install VS Code? After watching this video, you will be able to give the answer for these questions. How to execute Java program using VS Code? How to use terminal in VS Code? How to add extensions to VS Code? Can we execute C, C++ and Python programming languages code using VS Code? Now in the last session already we have seen how to download and install VS Code. After that, in the search, just type VS Code and click on open. This is the first page after installation. You can select the theme as per your requirement. So I am selecting here dark modern. After selecting the theme, you can find this type of the interface. If you want to zoom it, you can use control plus. Then if you want to create a folder or create the file, click on this icon, explorer icon. Shortcut for this explorer is control shift plus E. Click here and click on open folder first, open folder. Then you can select the location where you want to create the folder, where you want to save your files. I am selecting Java folder, select folder. So whenever you select a folder, you will get this type of the dialog box. Is it trusted or not? You can check here, trust the authors of all files in the parent folder D. Nothing but that will be shows your location in my system. The location of my folder is D. Then click on yes, I trust the authors. Now see, if you have any files in that folder, those files will be displayed here. Here we have the option new file. Click on the new file option and write your file name. Suppose I want to create a file with the name sample. So you need to write the name here SAMPLE sample and as this is a Java file, you should use Java extension dot Java press enter sample dot Java file is created. And now you can start writing the program here. Class sample. The rule we need to follow is file name should be same as the class name. Then within the class public static void main within that string args. This is the sample code. We discussed already the structure of the Java program. In our sessions, we need to write class in every program. Without the class, we cannot write any Java program. In this example, my class name is sample, class, class name sample. Within the main method, I am writing output statement system.out.println. The text I want to print as a output is welcome to VS Code. We need to write the text within the double quotes semicolon. After completion of writing the code, you need to click here and you can observe terminal option we have and click on new terminal. Then a terminal will be created here. So you can observe this is the path where I saved the file. If this path is different from the path where you saved your file, you need to set the path first. How to set the directory path already we discussed in our videos. First step is we need to compile the program. For that, the syntax is Java C space file name. Here the file name is sample dot Java is compulsory. We discussed this point already. If any errors in your program, the error information will be displayed here. If there are no errors, you can find this prompt. After that, you need to run the program. For that, the syntax is Java space your file name, then press enter. 
you can observe the output of this program is welcome to VS Code. This is how to execute a Java program using VS Code. Let us execute one more program sum of two numbers sum dot Java then press enter. Now the file is created you can observe now. Then write the program as usual we need to start with class class the class name is sum create the block within that we need to write public static void main within the parenthesis string args create the main block. So here our requirement to find the sum of the two numbers for that I am taking int value a assignment 10 one more int value b assignment 20 and I am creating third variable to store the result c then in the next line c assignment a plus b ok. So here we stored 10 into the a 20 into the variable b third variable we declared and we are evaluating a plus b value that evaluated value the result value will be stored in the variable c. Now I want to print the c value as a result of this program for that we need to write output statement system dot out dot print ln. So when you type p you can observe no intelligence here that will give some suggestion in such cases just press tab button automatically that will be taken. Now I want to print the result along with a string value along with a text in this case we need to write like this sum of a and b is after that I want to print the result then we need to use plus symbol here the plus symbol is used to concatenate the string value to this variable. So first sum of the a and b is will be printed what we have in the double quotes after that the value what we have in the c will be printed. Let us compile it first for that create the terminal new terminal and for the compilation java c space your file name sum dot java press enter no errors you need to execute this java space your file name press enter now observe the output is sum of a and b is 30 observe here we have an option extensions which are very useful to develop and execute the program as per the suggestions you can install so many extensions and with the help of the vs code we can execute several programming languages not only java if you want to execute c program file or c++ or python programming file also we can execute easily for that just click on the file then create a file then we must write extension suppose i want to execute python file so we need to write the extension dot py then press enter now you can observe you can find the python icon here and you can write the code after writing the code again open the terminal as per the syntactic rules of the python you can execute the python program also so if you want to execute c also same procedure click on the file give the name but the extension dot c is compulsory then c file will be created as per the syntactical rules of the C, you can open the terminal and execute the C. Like you can execute C language, C++, Java, Python and so many programming languages with help of the VS Code. So whenever you are working with any programming languages, VS Code will give some suggestions. Now you can observe, do you want to install the recommended Python extensions from the Microsoft for the Python languages? So these extensions are very useful. So many extensions are available each and every extension has a different features. Check your knowledge what you learnt from this video. How to execute Java program using Visual Studio code. How to use terminal in VS code. How to add extensions to VS code. Can we execute C, C++ and Python programming languages files using VS code. If this video is useful to you, please subscribe the channel, watch the videos and like and share it. Thank you.